Hi besties, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're doing what career path is ideal for you. So to do this reading together we're going to be picking out four oracle cards. So we already see one appearing, two, thank you very much, three, and oh thank you, and four. So for pile number one, we have chess. For pile number two, we have splitting white light. For pile number three, we have beating heart. And for pile number four, we have human flight. So now take a look at which one of these four piles you're the most drawn to. And that's probably the pile for you here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, then perhaps there is there are several things that could be ideal for you. And maybe you can use them to mix and match or maybe even do several things at the same time. It's your call. At the end of the day, listen to what your intuition uh, tells you. As usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I'll see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. So you've chosen chess as your main card. Now, for this reading in specific, this is going to be a coherent reading. So I'm going to be pulling out different oracle cards and your tarot cards and together we'll discern what your job is or what career is ideal for you. Uh, pile number one. So now we're going to pick out another oracle card. Thank you. You have interesting you have candle here with illumination last but not least so that i can have another clearer look at your personality i think i'm going to be using the animal spirit cards it'll help me in that area so what career path is ideal for pile number one, please. I see this one sticking out. Fox. Okay. Now we're ready for your tarot cards. Again, we're not going to start reading until we take a look at how your tarot cards interact with your oracle cards. Okay. So, which career path is ideal for pile number one, please? Which career path is ideal for pile number one? So, one last shuffle. Which career path is ideal for pile number one? All right, so pile number one, you have. The Six of Cups. Mm. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. I'm starting to understand what this is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we said it was the last shuffle. So you have the Four of Swords. Actually, we have space. Let's use all the space we have so that we get more information. The Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, okay. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. The Nine of Wands, a lot of courage in your reading, my. You have the Ten of Wands, right? 
you have justice. So look, pile number one. This is really strongly giving me CEO, no, 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 whoops, business person vibes. Now let me tell you why. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but let me tell you what type of careers are ideal for you. Pile number four. One, sorry. Pile number one. So with the chess and the fox and the candle, this is extremely showing me that you're very unique with your thinking process. You're very good at finding solutions to problems. You're a very strategic thinker and you tend to look at where the problem is and not and find a system that will work out that will help you overcome this problem long term. So there is a, a, an idea of you being a visionary, being able to spot opportunities very well, knowing how to deal with competitors in a way, finding better things, upgrading your product or upgrading your service. A great visionary, someone who's super smart and is capable of bringing out unique solutions or unique ideas that will help out in the business one way or the other. You also seem to me, pile number one, like someone who's a very hard worker. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, what drives you is uh, results. I know, wait, just hold on with me, pile number one. What re With results, I don't mean, oh, you did something and you got results. No, no, no. What I mean is you're motivated by big dreams. So you either want to have uh, a big financial empire one day or a big business that you can grow or uh, having a big change on your city, your community or in your field. You want something big. You're not here to play small is what I'm trying to say with you, pile number one. So your one of your ideal careers here is maybe... Uh, starting your own business because with the six of cups I do see you wanting to create something and grow with it I do not I I see you as a person who likes to be in independent you want to bring in your own finances you know how to do it you have all this confidence in your side, yourself the drive the the mental capabilities as well as emotional strength to really work it out and figure it out for yourself. You do not want to be working under people. You want to do your own thing and you want it to grow with you. You kind of attach emotionally yourself emotionally with work. And that's why maybe uh, business would be the right thing for you. Especially that you're a hard worker and you're motivated, you're self-motivated. You're not waiting for... Uh, a manager or someone to come and remind you of what you need to do because your motivation is results, big results, pile number one. But be careful here with the six of cups. Do not overly attach yourself emotionally with your business, pile number one. While it's one thing to love what you do and how you serve others and how you can grow something that you love, being attached to it means you will not be able to let it go and focus on something that's better when it's time for it for you to let it go pile number one so always love it nurture it grow with it but if you feel like at any point you're rooting for something that's just not working it's time for you to let it go have an open mind reconnect with your vision and look for something better that you can put your heart into that's just a quick advice here for you pal number uh one i do see you here as someone who just like the law suggests someone who looks at things into details you you do you do not come off as someone who would miss it who would miss details that would harm their big vision one day you're um Someone who's capable of looking at the big picture and the small picture at the same time. Pile number one. And this is why I really see here 
some an owner of a business and it doesn't really matter here what the business is i mean it's not the fact that there is one certain thing this could differ from one person to another in pile number one but most importantly what you're good at is having a vision and that could be many throughout your life having a vision of something that's going to be revolutionary or something that will really like finding that sweet market spot where people will need something and you'll be able to provide it very well work hard make sure you give it your best and uh, grow it and grow that thing and this is why for pile number one I really feel business person uh, business person who knows how to take care of his money um, create good contracts good deals with people is careful and um, knows how to make their own money yes pile number one I also see a lot of confidence and courage in you pile number one where you're able to speak clearly about the service or the product that you're providing you're able to be bold and go on, out and find opportunities for yourself and negotiate big deals you're not afraid to talk uh, you always have ideas on who you can collaborate with who you can meet and talk to about uh, talk to about expanding your product so that they benefit as well as you pile number one so yes for you pile number one great business vibes here so pile number one what i also see here for you with the four of swords appearing in your reading it seems like you can get yourself burnt out pretty easily you're so focused on your vision and on your outcome that sometimes you get carried away too much and you find yourself um, needing deep rest because you've burned yourself out uh, needing to give a little bit of love to yourself self-care um, maybe at some points you need to heal and take a brief holiday take a deep rest if this is your case now that was your message you can always take some time off to recuperate because how can you carry uh, 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 big burdens for long if you don't take the time to rest are you do you expect for it to continue to be the same way or do you know that at some point you will have that rest whether you like it or not and it may be during a time where you really can't so try to little by little recuperate and have that rest that you need or at any point in your life when you feel like you're being burned out now is not just the time to take a rest but it's also the time to start thinking is this working what do i need to do do i need to delegate and hire do I need to take some things off of me that take a lot of time but are not working? Do I need to create another system? Maybe. You need to think what is causing the burnout and create a solution for it, pile number one. So you also come off pile number one as a great teacher as well. You're quick to learn and adapt to new situations. That's one of your fortes. You commit to things long term and you have this natural uh, charisma that that keeps things exciting for you in the business and for the others, for others that work with you. Uh, pile number one. But what I can see here as another advice is to not forget yourself and slip away from your dear ones pile number one so rec always make sure you reconnect to those you love because you don't want again to feel burned out you want to have a balanced life and because you're so passionate and excited about this business world you may forget to reconnect with dear ones or create new relationships that will mean so much to you and will create 
strong partnerships for you in the future and you, for all your life pile number one so don't forget to connect with those that you love that's very important for your own health first and for the sake of a wonderful healthy life for you and the people around you pile number one one of your greatest skills as well pile number one is your tr transmutation capabilities you're able to, just like the candle it sacrifices its body in order for the light to shine so you're capable of sacrificing time sacrificing resources sacrificing what you love in order to create something much bigger and that's something that not everybody has uh, it's something that people look up to you for watching you like magic being capable of day after day going after what you want having a vision that you stick to uh, and you plan for every day working very hard to create something that will bring you great results and will bring and will create your dream so you're someone who knows how to create and make their dreams come true until it's actually official uh, pile number one and with you the candle appearing you don't want to create just any business and succeed in it it's not like what's out there that's gonna make money let me come in and make it no you're you're passionate about what you do pile number four you are you want to have a vision that you believe in that is a brilliant idea from your point of view and you will make sure you achieve that big vision of yours until you achieve it so all the best of luck pile number one love your character <laughs> love what you are about to do uh, if you've enjoyed this reading pile number one please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that i upload don't forget to click on your notification bell and i'll catch you in the next reading bye hi pile number two so you've chosen splitting white light now before we start getting into exactly what your career could be the ideal career for you let's take out your oracle cards <clears throat> and for this specific reading i want to wait and see what all the cards are going to be saying together so that we're able to depict the energies better for your career okay thank you so you have Ooh, you have the green man with growth. This is uh, getting clearer by the second here. Okay, now I'm going to be picking out an animal spirit card because I think it's going to be showing me more about your personality as well or your energy. Uh, pile number two. So which career path is ideal for pile number two. Whoa, the sea serpent. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Right, now let's pick out your uh, tarot cards and gain more clarity on what uh, career path is ideal for you. So let's move this a little bit here. And I'm confident that your spirit guides are really going to help show us more information about. I'm seeing third eyes. I mean, it's all becoming really clear here. But again, let's be patient. Ooh, even this looks like the third eye. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> okay. So, pile number one. You have... Ooh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the King of Cups. Okay. You have the Nine of Cups. Okay, this is becoming very clear now. You have the Eight of Wands. 
you have the Eight of Cups. You have the world in conjunction to this green man here. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Right, interesting. Ooh, I see what's going on as well. You have the Ace of Wands. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, you have the Nine of Wands. So pile number two, what I see here for you straight away. Uh, just like the title suggests splitting white light, I, I see split in the same field, but a split between two things for the people who are watching pile number two. For a lot of you, your ideal career is spirituality. But for a lot of you as well, your ideal path is not just spirituality, but more incorporating science with spirituality so maybe quantum physics uh, studying more about the esoteric world yeah seeing the science behind uh, combining science with spirituality trying to prove it maybe studying waves energy uh, trying to prove it yeah You'll be working in both realms together, uh, pile number two. Whichever way you take, your role is very strong because it looks like you will be able to not just heal people and show them how to live their lives in the best way. And that includes everything. That includes healing past traumas, healing ancestral karmas, maybe showing them how to tap into their spiritual journeys, how to create their own passions, following their dreams, you name it. It's really about healing and helping people spiritually and gaining more knowledge about the spiritual world, understanding that there is the law of attraction here with the Eight of Pentacles. Do you see that? <laughs> you... Let people understand that by working on yourself in one area or having a vision and believing, you're really making everything work, like cogworks or making everything work. And suddenly it will be uh, like the post here uh, happening to you, pile number two. So for a lot of you, you'll be actually really into the law of attraction, attracting so many things to you and helping others attract their dream life uh, for themselves, pile number two. It's going to be one of your specialities here. See, with the green man and growth, the ten of pentacles, yes, it's becoming clear here. In whichever direction that you take, you'll be really helping people live their best lives, manifesting everything that they want, and moving away from a lot of the uh, the wrong earthly understandings and the wrong things that they've they grew up with and and let them understand that there's so much more to life that they can achieve and you will be helping them uh, achieve emotional balance as well as well as balance in terms of making their dreams coming true and seeing like they can have a new beginning in life um, finding their courage, their inner selves, finding hope in life again, pile number two. Lovely, lovely job here. And with the amount of studying that you're going to be doing in this realm, energetically, see you have Isaac Newton later proved that white light is composed of the colors of the rainbow. So you maybe you'll be making your own... Um, explorations or your own discoveries or you might find older information that is very valuable that will help people manifest their dreams and of course as well as yours pile number two i mean pile number two even 
the animal that was supposed to um, make me have a look at your personality is depicted in this deck as a spiritual animal, the sea serpent. So this is all about healing emotional wounds and expressing desires. Do you see? This, these are the two things that I'm seeing here. Um, it, it overall, is the energy of expression. So whether you express yourself into the universe so that you get uh, the energy that you put out uh, as above, so below. Or it's whether about learning to find your inner self and heal and express your authentic self, getting in touch with your higher self. Um, it's also about emotions, creativity, uh, sensuality and desire, of course, can, it looks like a third eye here. I, f I see that you'll be helping people move and direct their energy into a, a healthy current, a balanced uh, mental state. I see you helping them uh, loosen the grip of self-judgment, uh, having... Uh, you, helping them heal their hearts and finding relationships that are meaningful for them. I see you helping them in forgiveness and healing wounds, but most importantly in believing in themselves so that they realize the magical being that they are that they're more magical than they think and leave away their fake world, their fake beliefs that they've been taught and understanding more about their inner magic and that there's so much more in the universe that they're not seeing and that it's not it, that they can have whatever it is that they want and they just need to learn to tap into that energy. Pile number two. I love, love what you're doing there. <laughs> Overall, this is spirituality that helps the human race grow back into their roots, finding their magical, finding themselves to be magical beings and relying more on themselves. Uh, and uh, standing up for what they want, letting go of the norms and only uh, tapping into their authentic selves. And overall, this, as you can see, will lead to a more happier um, human race, era for human, for the human race, pile number two. You're going to, it seems like your job is key in the enlightenment of this process, pile number two. So good job, please keep doing what you're doing. You really will be give, giving a lot of hope to people, pile number two. So if you ever give up, please don't give up. You have a big role. And imagine if you don't speak up, there will be so many people that will change their lives because of you, pile number two. So please follow your career path. It's very important that you do. You have a very important career path in helping yourself and helping others. And it will lead to this grand movement of helping change the way we're all living on the planet at the moment. Pile number two. Your ideal job. Pile number two is a job that helps you and allows you to tap into your strong intuition and your strong spiritual gifts, mainly vision. Yeah, clairvoyance. Uh, it's one that will help you research and read more into the things that grab your curiosity more about ancient or scientific information in about how to attract things into your lives, achieving the things that you want, 
or for the human being to refine themselves once again. Uh, pile number two is that job that will help you tap freely and swim freely in this field. Because if you're in another field, pile number two, you will be successful. Don't get me wrong. But it's like you're swimming in free water when you're in this sea. It's exactly where you're meant to be. It's exactly what you're meant to do. And you'll tap into the flow uh, of what you're meant to do in this lifetime. And for a lot of you, I see that you will be changing careers sometime soon. Not now, but ending one cycle in your job and now getting into a new cycle that feels more real to you like more like your authentic self pile number two is it's your your ideal job is not one where you have to fight yourself every day to get up and to go to work and to do things yet yes you're that you're good at but it's one where it feels in harmony and in flow where it feels like it's something you can do forever, even if it was for free, uh, by the way. So this looks like your dharma here, pile number two. It's something that you're meant to do. It, it, it makes you feel whole, tapping into that energy. We have the snake twice with Arubrus. It gives you everlasting energy that helps you grow, heal, helps others grow and heal, where you feel like you're in touch with your real self. You're not going against the grain to make it work. But now you're riding this grain and moving in the right direction. That's not full of resistance for you. Pile number two. In this field, I see here that you will be a student, a faithful student to this field all your life. Because it's something that you will enjoy learning about. Where you will be illuminated and help uh, illuminate others. Pile number two, this is really cool. The second group in this pile will be reading a lot about ancient civilizations in different eras, will maybe be looking at different um, secret societies, esoteric societies like um, yeah, not one specific one, different esoteric societies finding their secrets, learning more about what they have learned, what they understood about life. And I see for some of you, pile number two, this the second group here really succeeding at tapping into some secrets here. Maybe you'll find special books. And you will be really giving unique information to people with what you find with this information. Wow, pile number two. If you ever find information like that, please don't forget me. <laughs> I kindly ask you to uh, enlighten me as well, uh, pile number two. I hope you enlighten everyone. All the best of luck. It's 3.33 as we said that. It seems like you're going to be doing something big. All the best of luck, pile number two. Uh, if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. So you've chosen the beating heart. It says, over 700 years ago, medical scholar Ibn al-Nafis correct, correctly described how blood flows between the heart and lungs. Ibn al-Nafis was right, but his knowledge was lost for centuries. So we're going to have a coherent reading like the rest of the piles. Before I jump into conclusions, I feel like this reading really needs a coherent reading. Uh, because I want to take out all the different aspects that the reading shows in terms of what exactly could be the ideal career for you. Uh, pile number three. So first of all, like we uh, saw, you have the beating, like you chose, I mean. You have the beating heart. 
let's ask here what or which career path is ideal for pile number three oh i see this one sticking out so oh you have the owl and wisdom keeper okay now this is getting um, clearer right now what i'm gonna do is pick out an animal spirit uh, card to get the energy of your personality or your energy and from there we can find out what your i okay so we're gonna take the ones that uh, have shown up so you have the earthworm and the swan right this one looks like it's going to be an interesting reading <laughs> okay so you have the earth warm here and you have the swan now we're ready for your tarot cards all right so which career path is ideal for pile number three please which career path is ideal for pile number three okay let's shuffle one last time which career path is ideal for pile number three please thank you okay So pile number three, you have the chariot, okay, you have the four of swords, mm, a lot of thinking involved in your career, pile number three, okay. You have the High Priestess, interesting. Knight of Swords. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. You might want to check pile number one, pile number three. Okay, so you have the Queen of Wands. And last but not least, you have the Hermit. Yeah, you might want to check pile number one. Okay, so what I see here for you, pile number three, the first thing as a, that I see coming strongly is a researcher. One of your greatest skills, you don't have to work as a researcher, but one of your greatest skills is being a great researcher and your job has to incorporate that passion that you have for a reason here. So some uh, careers that I'm seeing here is a physical doctor, perhaps a nutritionist, I see movement, so that could be exercise or a physical coach, something that you can do, an athlete or something that you do that has to do with a lot of movement where you can move, a relationship coach perhaps, a scientist, a researcher, yeah. Whichever exact field it is, what I can tell you that what this field has to have is you being able to use your intelligence, your wisdom, your strong eye for detail. See, like the earthworm, you're able to go inside and get information that not everyone is capable of getting. And um, through that, through this unique skill here that you have, you'll be able to present something that it may be revolutionary, uh, pile number three. That's where you're really good at, a great 
thinker and a great researcher that will discover something. And wherever you're put, you'll always go deep. You'll always look in another perspective and dig deep until you find it. See, you have the high priestess here and the owl. You, ha you have this inner knowing already, this intelligence. With your the reason you're different with your research, pile number three, is that everyone reads. No, you're able to read and connect the dots together. And it becomes a, a journey to you where you navigate freely and fly into this world of information, finding one piece here and remembering another piece that you read somewhere else and connecting the dots together and figuring out something that makes so much sense, that will help, help this field that you're researching in move very quickly, pile number three. So your ideal job always has to allow you this space to use your research abilities. Pile number three. People will find you to be very knowledgeable wherever you work. They will treat you as the expert, well-deserved, by the way, pile number three. They will always find you informed about whatever you're looking into, well-informed, because you're very proactive about it. You're not just trying to do your work, you're trying to always figure something out. And you're not happy figuring it out on a surface level. You, you always want to go deep and see what, and in terms of deep, see what else is there. What el what's available in perhaps other fields? What did other scientists say about it? You're... If you just can't be stopped, pile number three, when you're very curious about something, you kind of feel like you're going to figure it out. You immerse yourself in books and research and information. You try to connect the dots here and there until you find that key piece of information <laughs> that will change this field one way or the other. You always have unique information to you because even if there are other people in the field, researching and reading like you, you always realize that there's a flaw in what they've done. Not that you're being judgmental, by the way, you're being really pragmatic here. You can see how they got some things right, but they're not being open-minded to look in different ways. And I see with you, pile number three, is that you're very keen on finding and figuring out the right information without being emotional. You want to make a difference with your research, you want to solve something, heal something, and because you really want to make an intrinsic change to whatever you're looking into, you make sure you delve into what other scientists are saying, what other experts are saying, reading more information about it and connecting the dots for yourself, uh, pile number three. So always find a job that will allow you and give you the space to roam and research and find great solutions like that. That will be your ideal job in this situation. So what jobs require good research? Not to mention, of course, scientists. We have that out of the way. But you could. this could be historian, data analyst, uh, marketing research, maybe, uh, operations research analyst, of course, forensic science could be part of it as well. It's, it's a field, it's whichever field that you enjoy that but allows you to get into that research uh, pile number three medical scientists and and uh, health and nutrition as well finding the right nutritional information pile number three i also see here with the earthworm, 
that you enjoy working on your own. So some of you could be a little bit shy, not all of you, but for if you feel like at this point you're a very smart person, but you tend to be shy about maybe speaking up and maybe feeling intimidated with sharing your wisdom and intelligence here, what you came up with, the advice from your spirit guides is to come out and speak up. Do not be em embarrassed because what you will share will be always valuable and appreciated. Uh, pile number three. Another thing that I see with the earthworm here as well is one of your greatest advantages is your cap capability of keeping an open mind. You're not rigidly stuck to one idea or the other you're capable of leaving an idea altogether even if you've been working and researching on it for a very long time just to find out the truth you know uh, pile number three how they say a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insights sometimes that's because a beginner's mind is open-minded is not um, swayed by one idea or the other has that clarity to receive information and make a, a, a good judgment to discern between the two the things that are coming in and so with you pile number three you tend to keep a very open mind you so much so that you can drop everything and start anew just so that you can find out the truth what you're protecting is finding the right information and not your ego or not your hard work uh, pile number three and that's what makes you one of that's one of the things that makes you a great candidate for a researcher that obviously is going to be presenting something big you will be your work will be recognized and will help uh, one way or the other in whichever field you're in or you're going to tap into pile number three. Always remember pile number three, if you tap into that energy in your work, you're going to really stand out. Because, of course here, this is really interesting. Uh, with the swan, of course, we're reminded by the goddess Saraswati, I think. Yeah, Saraswati in Hindu mythology, where uh, the goddess rides on the swan and it takes uh, her to the realm of writing, creativity, reflecting. So I see you here creating this magical, getting into your magical world, just like the goddess Saraswati rides on the swan. When you do your work, you do it with so much love, you're so passionate about the information that you're getting and the information that you're putting together. And that's why it should not be taken lightly at all. Um, your work, it's done with so much love. You genuinely want to figure something out, uh, pile number three. And this is why if the research, uh, is, the research realm is calling you in one field or the other, heed the call uh, because you're waiting to be heard. You're waiting to create something big. Pile number three. So tap into that energy and all the best of luck. This was super impressive. Pile number three. I wish you find something one day. Who knows? Maybe you're someone who's meant to have the Nobel Prize one day or something. <laughs> all the best of luck. Pile number three. Whatever field you're in, you're a great researcher. That That's what I can tell you. And pile number three, if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number four. So you've chosen human flight. Pretty interesting pile here. Uh, but before we get into your reading, this reading will require a 
coherent reading. So I'm going to pick out your oracle cards and your tarot cards and together we'll see what a career is ideal for you. Uh, pile number four. So let's ask what career is ideal for pile number four, please? I feel this one. You're the only pile where, who's going to get... No, the other pile got two spirits. And okay. So, pile number four. Whoa. You have the pentacle here with evocation. And you have... Wow, holy water with purification. Interesting pile already. All right. Now let me pick out your spirit animal card so that I can get more information about your personality, your energy. And from there, we can take a look at your ideal career. Wow. You're surprising me by the second here. Pile number three, four, sorry. Pile number four. Okay. Now, let's pick out your tarot cards. This is a very interesting pile. Okay. Ah, you won't believe this pile number four. My dear pile number fours, just like the human flight here, you will be inventing something, coming up with something that will revolutionize something in the world. Pile number four. You will cause a revolution in something because, I mean, the cards that you're getting are super strong. You have the crow here. That's a very strong spiritual animal. You have the holy water, which is all about high frequency and its capability of holding high frequency the pentacle is a very strong ancient symbol where each point represents an element with the uppermost point representing spirituality so i'm really seeing he, you here being assisted by your uh, ancestors and your spirit guides to where you're going to be inventing something just like flight here and revolutionizing something completely uh, in this lifetime. Wow, pile number four. <laughs> okay. So we'll talk more about that. I mean, a lot of s strong creativity here. But again, I don't. Want, I didn't want to jump into conclusions. I'm gonna wait until I see what your tarot cards have. So what ideal job is there for pile number four, please? Wow, my pile number fours. Wow. <laughs> what ide uh, uh, ideal job is there for pile number four, please? Let me take out this noise. Right. One last shuffle. Right, so pile number four, you have the Queen of Wands. You have the King of Swords. You have the Ace of Swords. Unbelievable. A new beginning and you start creating something just like the sword because the sword has the capability of cutting through energy and shifting its direction. It has that power. So with the power of your creativity, with your thought, with your spirituality as well, you'll be shifting something. Pile number four. That, that's for sure. You have the five of cups here. Something that's just not working, my dear world. <laughs> just not working. Okay, this one wants to come out. What are you? We'll see in a second. I think these are enough cards. 
let's keep it here or yeah let's hold it like that so you have the moon ah this field is being greatly protected by secretly by the industry pile number four this industry that you're going to be revolutioning re revolutionizing something in with passion where you where you'll be greatly recognized you're going to be spilling some tea bringing out the truth with good scientific information and evidence is going to i don't want to say embarrass reveal what's the word expose yes it's going to expose some corruption in a field here i did not see that coming you have the nine of wands you are going to be standing there protected with confidence maybe you'll have a lot of people who will stand up for you um users the public will be standing there for you this is a big story here pile number four this turned uh, uh, very dramatic very quickly <laughs> didn't it but i i really with dramatic here i i'm filled with pride with what you're going to do pile number four i'm just making you laugh so kudos to you so you have the eight of swords and you have the five of wands Ooh la la now that is one reading i know i'm gonna love so it's lo it looks like you're going to be purifying a certain field that is full of corruption uh exposing it with confidence and fighting st being a leader in this field and fighting for it not through arguments pile number four your fight is not going to be done through arguments your fight is going to be done through the revelation of the right information exposing the truth helping people whereas in the past they thought they were stuck you will make them realize that they're free souls and they're free. Uh, they're not stuck here. I don't know what field that is. Maybe then I don't want to mention fields. <laughs> but yeah. You will definitely be going through the fight with integrity. Without any fight. Just by exposing the truth openly and honestly pal number three you are a person here the right field for you is a field so let's talk here okay i'm getting this let's talk about what this field could be where there all this is going to happen this is a field that will allow you to use your inherent create creativity your creative powers your inherent creative powers by the way pile number four are absolutely assisted and downloaded you a lot of it is um, spiritual information so while you're a magical being don't get me wrong you will be helped out by a lot of ideas and guidance things like look there you know and you're like oh wow i can use that or getting information right under your doorstep not literally but you know what i mean uh, being hit with with smart ideas where people go wow pile number four how did you come up with this smart idea uh you don't know <laughs> but you came up with it and you have a very important role in exposing the lies and it, it's with the uh, ace of swords here it seems like there was a halt of progress progress in this field 
It's like it's being protected and stopping everyone to come near this area. It's like, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in, don't dare, don't come in, don't come in. Do you see? There is this line of defense, don't you dare come in. Or you're not going to like it. You're not going to like the results. So you're not going to be in this field fighting them at all. You're just going to be exposing the truth and help by helping others and by doing it creatively in a fun way. In a way that will reach people's minds and hearts because it's so creative and so smart. But at the same time, also revolutionary and freeing to people. You see a lot of stuck energy here, but a lot of freedom up at the top where you are. Uh, pile number four. Pretty impressive. With the Queen of Wands, there's popularity. The reason you're going to be popular is because there may be other people in the field exposing the truth. But the way you're going to be doing it, pile number four, is, by, is, is through creativity, simplicity, inter, in an entertaining way that will really reach people's heart and nourish them. And this way they will truly understanding, uh, understand it. And so you didn't come near uh, the defense line here, as I can see shown in your cards. You're mainly going behind the doors giving information to others by entertaining them and by helping them out giving your heart out pile number four your creativity will be the key egg of this birth in knowledge that you'll be spreading pile number four it seems to me pile number four that you will be okay but i just want to make sure that everything is going to be okay for you here. Is pile number four going to be okay? Great. Ace of Wands is amazing. <laughs> My dear pile number four, don't worry. You're spiritually guided. What a question. <laughs> You're spiritually guided. You're going to be absolutely fine. Keep doing your thing. Keep bringing out your passion. As long as you do it with heart and love and passion because you genuinely care for others you'll be safe and your message is going to come across to everyone perhaps even around the world here and you'll end up being very popular pile number four gosh i love your pile it's so magical how can one end a magical reading like that all the best of luck, pile number four. Let me take a quick look here again in your reading. I want to find out more information. Look, pile number four, you're not just super creative. You're also a person who's super smart. You have a sharp mind. Very active crown chakra, of course. And... Uh, it's through this creativity, putting the picture together finding the truth and the right information, all this whole balance. That's why you have the pentacle, all of the elements. It's like you have everything that it takes to bring out of the dark, the into the light, the right information. You have the intelligence, you have the wisdom, you have the spiritual inner knowledge, um, you have the creativity, you have your love for quality, yeah, you have communication, of course. You have also financial independence that will help you in this journey. Maybe you'll find an investor or maybe you will create your own um, financial, financial independence to help with this spiritual journey. I, I see it written in your heart and that's why maybe for a lot of you, we don't even need to discuss what this is going to be about. I see it in your heart. It's something that you carry passionately in your heart that you really want to help people with. And if you haven't discovered it, pile number four, no worries. Uh, you will be discovering what this mission is soon, what you're going to be changing through 
finding out, going through the issue yourself, finding out that there are no solutions to it, and you'll, you'll now be pushed to find the right information, figure it out for yourself, and then bring it out into the light, pile number four. This is what I see here for you in terms of your ideal career. All the best of luck, my beautiful pile number fours, magical reading. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Don't forget to click on your notification bell and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.